earlier here at the Russell Industrial Complex, I Hate Lucy party, and um, there was some really innovative, um, unusual, eye-catching, striking <laughs> work that we just had to find out more about. And um, so here we are in the studio, um, and we're, we're just having our chance to meet the artist. Uh, in your name, please. My name is Dale Teachout. I, uh, I'm here. Uh, she just covered me, yeah. <laughs> but no, I'm just totally a recluse that, you know, I, I work and really am not good at, like, getting myself out there and advertising and that sort of thing. So when somebody comes along and they're interested, I kind of, like, perk up my ears. That's the only really, really way I get attention. So. <laughs> well, I mean, just come over and let's take a look at some of these. Either yeah, let's take a little walk. These are pretty exciting. They're, they're found objects put together in a meaningful way to create something new. And um, these are, are some, some of the recent works then. Um, Fairly, yeah. Um, still in process. This was, this was gonna be a this was gonna be a hat. <laughs> <laughs> this is a SpongeBob sort of situation. Put it on. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh. See that? This hat was, has never been worn. Okay. It pinches your head, and you look really goofy. So no. by wearing it, you could you could lose self esteem. <laughs> <laughs> so we won't wear that hat. But uh, these are just. These are meant to be like, um, these are more um, um, spirited pieces where I just kind of I take my extra materials that really I don't know what to do with and I, I wrap them and I make balls of stuff, you know. And then I later I add some stuff to, to kind of fill in the gaps. So then, wait a minute, um, as, as you described that, you start with balls. So, um... Is so I'm gonna guess that that then from a ball you build it up to become a character. Well, I sometimes will take these and use them for other purposes. Like I may use them for treetops, you know, or something like that. Or I may just um, they just may just be an art object unto themselves. Like some like this one's more on the finished side. You can see how that's kind of embellished and there's stuff stuck into it. Where this one you see the wire exposed, it's kind of jagged. It's really not cut finished or anything. So I'll stuff I'll stuff uh, glue, paint, you know, some sculpy clay, stuff like that, uh, in there and let it kind of smooth over, harden. And and some things will go on to other sculptures and it'll be part of a larger format of a sculpture. It may even like you know, like it may be worked into some shoulders or you know an arm or something like that. This one here is, is abstract. Um, it's, it's that's my twirly thing there. This is kind of an abstract piece. That's just starting. You know, I'm just building, building. I'm not sure where this one's going exactly. But they, your characters develop their own personality as. Them. Yeah, they pretty much dictate as you go, like what they're gonna need for their, you know, what kind of materials and shapes you're gonna need for these particular sculptures. They all develop a certain, like they, they begin. They're like people. They want things, you know, and you and you gotta try to fit. It's like a puzzle. You gotta kind of fit the right object to the right sculpture because they're they're showing you something, and you want to just showing you something a little different than the other one. Show me an example of one of your earliest pieces that you have accessible. Like, I know you said something about a flat style that was yeah, out in the hallway. Yeah, that's in the hallway. Do we have enough light in the hall? Yeah. Can I give it a try? Yeah. Okay.
but you can see it's far flat and you know, like linear and a lot of rivets and a lot of solid objects. And I think I'm going back to that though. Then I got I got off onto a lightweight thing. Okay. But this one here is like a, I don't know if you can see it or not. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. This just a minute. You see. This one here is like a, a, a picture of us like um, those uh, paint by number still lifes. <laughs> yeah. And I chopped them all up and I made kind of a fractured still life. Um, and these are things, synthetic materials people find in their homes, you know, that, that kind of uh, like fake gold and fake wood and, and decorative stuff that's really not like what it seems. It's not, it's not, it's not um, carved or anything, it's just imprinted, you know, stuff like that. And I took all these gold things and, and I created the, the uh, All American Still Life. Um, American still life. Full of holes, but bolted to the past. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, this is the fall of man here. I don't know if you can see it. But it has sort of a Spanish. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Lots of, lots of falling people here. You can see they're falling. Mm -hmm. Ah. See? <laughs> and this person is supposed to be falling, but they're not. There it goes. Okay. And you know, you have Jesus, sort of, it's more my religious piece. I used to have a studio in a church. So this is more in uh, keeping with my religious experiences there. And I, I wanted a lot of cascading, um, linear things just kind of dripping. It's more like there was a painter came down and he related to this. I said, yeah, this is more like a painting than maybe some of the other ones. Yeah, there's a lot of different kind of like architectural elements to this today. I can see how the um, the evolution that you described from the flat, and then they're getting more structured, and <clears throat> the the and it's it's leading into the ones that captured our attention at the, mm -hmm. the main gallery over here. Yeah, the three-dimensional rounded ones that are like heaps of like hills that are just built up and are over here, and they're not, they're pieces right now. But these, you, this one's still a giant head, but it's upside down. Similar to the one inside. Yes. This, they all end up being a personality of sorts, so I got to figure out what personality that, that it is. And this one is, I, it, it changes from all American person because I got red, white, and blue. And I think, okay, red, white, and blue, but no, oh, that's not it. I'm still looking for it. Does he, he needs a bigger nose, so I'm kind of holding off on him. I, I find it so interesting how you use such unexpected things like all the shoes. There's three shoes that I see right here. A muffin pan yeah. and a wheel Ooh. and they they in back of a chair. Yeah. Well, you know, I think when you say that, you just bring this to mind that when I started art, I would go into like an art supply store and I would find these supplies were very expensive. <laughs> and I thought, hmm, what else can I do? Because I can't afford this at the time I was a student. And so I used to drive around on Wednesdays waiting for my next class and of course they'd be putting stuff out on the curb and, and there it's like, and I had to think, I made myself think of something before, like what I can make out of one of these things before I picked it up. That was my uh, test. But, you know, I mean, I end up just piling in my room up and pretty soon it spread out from there. <laughs> and now I just, but, but the, the thing is, I, I bring, like everyday life in my sculpture, that's what I'm trying. I'm trying to bring it to the American public, you know, something with something they understand, so you know, yeah. stuff that they can relate to. It really is. I mean, so, in everything but the kitchen sink, except <laughs> there was a, a kitchen sink in one of the pieces. Yes, I would put it in. It's just so heavy.